Welcome to the first video in the test validation series, text-based validation. You can download the completed solution from the user guide, details of which can be found in this video's description. We shall begin by creating the recording module we will need. We simply press record, the demo app appears, we enter a name, Harry in this case, in the box and click submit. This results in the welcome message changing to Welcome Harry. We want to validate whether this interaction leads to the desired result or does the welcome message change. To do so, we click on Validate in the Renorex recorder and select the UI element. We are then presented with the UI element's location within the GUI UI elements, states and attributes, and a screenshot of the validation UI element. We click Next. We then need to define validation attributes. The attribute text is usually pre-selected. If it is not selected, we can also see the other attributes available for validation. We click OK and reset just to finish the recording module off. Finished recording has five actions. Number four is our validation action. There are nine different types of validation. Those that are useful for text-based validation are attribute contains, attribute not contains, attribute not equal, and as we see here, attribute equals. Now when we run the test we see that it is successful as the result which was returned matches the specified value. Welcome Harry. It is worth noting that you are only validating what appears in the user interface, not the internal processing or storage. In the next video in the series we will be looking at attribute based validation.